Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a test of my FCI FC72 fire alarm panel with a new little display and demonstration board that I built a couple days ago. And I made this board so that I can have like, you know, a nice place to mount devices while I'm testing them with the panels that I don't have up installed on a wall. Um, that kind of held me back from testing some of those systems like the uh, 4070S, the FCI FC72, um, and some of the other ones that I have laying around that don't have a spot to be mounted up on the wall and I don't really just want to, you know, lay the devices on the ground uh, with wires going to them. So we'll take a closer look at that board. Um, you can see it has flexible conduit coming out the top of it that's meant to be connected and disconnected from whatever panel I want to use it with. Um, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. So here's the display board. It's a little bit difficult to film because it's much taller than it is wide and that doesn't match up so nicely with the uh, size of the video frame here. So that's about as close as I can get while still having the whole thing in view. Um, but I can zoom in on some of the different parts of it as we go through it. So as you can see, it's got six different mounting boxes. Two are for notification appliances up at the top. There's two mounting boxes for smoke or heat detectors in the middle. And then down at the bottom, there are two single gang boxes for pull stations. So currently I only have five devices mounted up there. Um, as you can see, one of the smoke detector boxes is empty because I don't have another smoke detector that I can use with the FCI FC72 right now. Um, this thing is set up for two zones. So the smoke detector and the pull station that are up and above or above and below each other are one zone. I had thought about wiring everything separately so this board would have four zones, um, but that didn't seem practical to me. Um, so anyways, there's one pull station on zone one and then there is a smoke detector and a pull station on zone two. And uh, we can go ahead and take a look at what exactly those devices I have up here are. So for the notification appliances, I have two federal signal devices. On the left hand side, that's a Federal Signal 450D Series C2 Vibratone Horn. That's the uh, more uncommon version with the um, Faraday style mechanism behind it, so it sounds more like a, um, a simplex horn um, that we might be familiar with, or you know, just the, the Faraday horns they used in like the 9838 and 9833 and what have you. Then over on the right hand side is a Federal Signal V1971 remote strobe. Um, it's on a Federal Signal MPV mounting plate which um, was used to adapt these strobes. You can see it looks like it's meant to mount on the front of another device kind of like the um, 450 right next to it and that's because it was but with that mounting plate you're able to just attach to the plate, run the wiring through it and use it as a remote strobe. You can see it's actually on a system sensor MP-SF um, trim plate that's kind of squished behind there. The reasoning for that is the mounting screws on the um, V1971 when, when it's on that plate are backwards to the way that I mount my um, conduit boxes. So using that plate allowed me to reverse which side of the device the um, mounting holes for the conduit box were on. And, get that up there. I had to do that one time when I tried to put it up on my system test board. I ended up not filming that test because this strobe doesn't cooperate nicely with the panel, but this is the only device I have where the um, screws are arranged in that configuration. For the smoke detectors, like I said, one of the boxes is just blank. On the other box, that's a system sensor i3 series detector. This one's four wire, so it's getting 24 volts straight from the control panel, and then it just has a normally open contact on it. Um, I thought about putting up a Chemitronics heat detector on zone one, but I didn't feel like it because it's kind of pointless because it's just a fixed temperature device that I never have any intention of activating, so it wouldn't have served much purpose anyways. For the pull stations, we have two FCI devices because obviously we're using this with an FCI FC72 panel. On the left hand side, we have a standard FCI MS2. That pull station is original to the system um, that I removed the 
FC-72 from, and I'll note that the, uh, the federal signal horn up there was also original to this system. And then over on the right hand side is an FCI MS-6. Um, that one is not from the system, but it is an FCI device. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, and we'll try out this little display board. So I'm going to start off by activating the MS-2 on zone 1. And then we're actually going to use the I3 with the magnetic test feature to activate zone 2 later on. Uh, the FCI FC72 only has the basic uh, bell module in it, so it's coded on continuous. And here we go. So go ahead and silence that, and I'll silence the buzzer in the panel. Uh, so that 450 is a very loud horn, but it's a very clear horn, um, as you could probably hear from the video on this panel, so it sounds real nice. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and get a magnet, and we'll test out the i3. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the magnetic test on the i3. Um, for some reason, I don't know if this is normal. But um, when I use the magnetic test on the i3, the red alarm LED uh, doesn't come on, so I don't know if that's normal or not. I know when I test it with smoke, um, I don't have any available to use today, but the uh, alarm LED does come on, but not with the magnet, unfortunately. So, here we go. So now zone 2 is silenced, and I had already silenced the internal buzzer from the last activation. Um, this panel doesn't have any sort of re-alarm feature because you actually physically slide a switch on the side of the zone uh, to bypass it in order to silence the alarm. So um, if I were to pull the MS-6, it, it wouldn't go back into alarm or anything. And You could silence you know, all of the zones, but... Um, It'll only silence the horn if you silence the zone that is actually in alarm and you don't have to worry about the others. Um, so let's go ahead and reset the pull station and then we can reset the panel and maybe I'll do the MS6 station just for fun. Alright, and then reset the MS2. Then I'll go ahead and reset the panel. So now our two zones that are silenced are in trouble. Go ahead and re-enable those. And then the buzzer will come back on. And we'll set the trouble silence switch back to normal. Uh, and that turns off the buzzer and now the system is fully reset. And just for fun, we'll go ahead and pull the MS-6 to uh, round out all the initiating devices on the board. And I just hit silence on that right away, and I'll go ahead and reset. There we go, and then... I'll reset the panel and put the zone back to normal. And so there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the uh, new little display board here, which should hopefully make it a little bit easier for me to test out some of the panels that I really haven't been able to test out yet uh, in a, I guess, uh, you know, system environment. Um, I mentioned a couple of these points at the end of System Test 41. Um, you'll probably see videos within the next few weeks to months of me using this display board. Um, probably 
a couple times more with the FC72 because it's a really handy panel for me to just move around and test. It's conventional and uh, has good knack outputs and everything. Um, you also see videos of it with the Faraday MPC2000. Um, that's an addressable system, so I'll just have to tie in a monitor module to each of the zones. I can just leave those modules right inside the cabinet. Um, also with the 4070S, um, in that case this will just be connected to the uh, conventional inputs on the 4070S so I don't have to worry about any addressability issues there. Um, the System 3 is also in line for a test at some point. Um, I don't have a cabinet for that one, it's just kind of parts laying around. So, um, Like I said in System Test 41, I might wait until I get a cabinet for that um, before really doing anything with it because it's, it's not in the best shape just laying on the ground when it's all powered up in my opinion. Um, and I think that should be it in terms of stuff that I would test with this, but anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy it. I, threw it together in a couple hours um, and I think it turns out or turned out pretty good so uh, thank you guys for watching and have a great day